The issues around the pathologies uh, that accompany the se secondary issues and complications after traumatic brain injury are right, quite complex. Um, they are not very well understood and that's a, a big area of research for us. Our research in biomarkers really allows us to understand some of the key mechanisms and identify those key mechanisms uh, using uh, a clinical population and a translational approach to our research. Uh, for example, we study some uh, biomarkers associated with seizure development in traumatic brain injury. We specifically try to uh, select markers that are relevant to what we know about epilepsy pathology uh, through other populations, and we've been able to apply our knowledge there to select candidate biomarkers uh, that are relevant in predicting risk for the development of this particular complication. Uh, rehabilomics is a concept that essentially blends or marries molecular medicine and the concept of personal biology with uh, rehabilitation-focused concepts on recovery and function. In this uh, type of framework, we really strive to utilize biomarkers that can inform us about uh, a person's recovery capacity and potential, as well as their susceptibility to specific complications that could negatively impact their functional recovery. Some of the additional research that we're currently involved in here at UPMC includes some uh, genetic markers uh, that inform us about dopamine systems and how those systems uh, and variation in those systems can influence cognitive recovery after a traumatic brain injury. I think what, what researchers and clinicians need to know about biomarkers uh, in brain injury research is that there's really a wide open uh, door and lots of different opportunities to really understand the pathology that underlies TBI to understand the pathology that underlies the secondary complications that can occur uh, after TBI, and that we have a real opportunity to personalize our, our treatment approaches in a way that can really impact function.